Hey guys, to celebrate the Warcraft trailer release, I decided to do a look on Garona. I did this look based on the card art featured on the right hand side. I'm going to start by putting a lotion on my face since I'm going to be covering myself green. And then I'm going to take the Paradise Paints by Mayron. This is just the light green that comes in this palette here and these are all water based so you just need water. And you're going to cover basically everywhere that you want to be visual is going to be green. So I'm just going to do my face and my torso and my hands since I'm only going to be taking a few photos for this. Taking fringe on Urban Decay's electric palette, I'm going to start going and contouring my cupid's bow, the sides of my nose, my temples, the sides of my cheeks. Orcs are very built and muscular, so I'm going to be contouring areas in my chest as well. Um, also, I'm going to make a very angry face and contour the areas in there, uh, just so they look very stern. Orcs look very stern all the time. On the same palette, I'm going to take the color Thrash, and I'm going to be doing all my highlighted areas just to define those muscles um, and the structure a lot more. For the most part, we're going to be using the same palette. I'm just going to take Jilted and put it all over the lid. And then I'm going to take Urban, and I'm going to place it in the crease. To blend it out, I'm going to use Freak. It's very similar from the face paint that I used. Taking Fringe, I'm going to start changing the nose shape just a little bit to look a lot like Garona's. Now taking NYX's primal colors, uh, I have a really bright yellow color. I'm just going to start highlighting a little bit more and creating um, a lot more depth in the colors. Make sure when you're making your scrunchy face, you highlight these areas as well. Ah, sweet mother of thrall. Okay, so now we're going to contour our boobs. Um, Grona is a woman, so you know, she has those. And uh, you're just going to take those mixtures of colors and basically highlight and contour. Taking our Stila liner, we're going to line our waterline, and then we're going to smudge it out with that same jilted color that we used on our lid. Now I'm taking NYX's Jumbo Pencil and I'm just mapping out that little marking that she has above her eye. And then carefully line it with a blue um, face paint. I'm going to do a mixture of blacks and whites and blue to kind of create an ombre look. Using the Anastasia Brow Wiz uh, in Ash Brown, I'm going to fill in my brows. And then taking a mixture of the dark green paint and kind of a blackish brown mud color, I'm going to start lining my lips. Also at the ends of my lips, I'm going to pull them out a bit to make them look more orcish. Since this dried, I'm just going over it and adding a little bit more of a ombre effect. Then I'm going to go on my arms and create the markings that she has on each side. Remembering to clean these up, the good thing about watercolors is that you can slightly cover them up um, by adding more water and grabbing the green color and touching up the ends to make them more sharp. I'm going to ombre all of these as well. Taking the same Stila smudge pencil, we're going to line the top eyelashes and then I'm going to take Benefit They Are Real Mascara and I'm going to apply it to my top and bottom lashes. Okay, so now I'm going to take Violet Voss's lashes and IDGAF, I'm sure you know what that stands for, but you know, there's children watching. And then I'm going to add these tusks, they're just vampire teeth cut in half. And here's a finished look for Garona. Of course, if you want to, you can add color contacts as well as the orc ears with the many piercings that they have in them. I hope you guys are as excited as I am for the movie. Of course, let me know in the comments below the typical question, Horde or Alliance. Personally, I'm going to go with the Horde.